Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So um, uh, this is part seven and um, I'm going through uh, the, 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 the researching about the book. Uh, it's called uh, British Israelism and uh, this study is done by the uh, scholars who are studying about the word uh, Jews, the tribes uh, left. The first chapter was the tribe of Dan. And I'm not really interested about what tribe of Dan because of um, it's an idol uh, worship. The, the, went away from Jerusalem and uh, you know to becoming tribe of Dan is mostly um, a lot of Europeans uh, emphasize this tribe but um, in my thought rather to stay Gentile than becoming a tribe of Dan uh, reason why is the um, liberation is not mentioned once the last chapter the tribe of Dan is taken out from the book of liberation um, also um, uh, it's only tough to say Ethiopian Jews are tribe of Dan but you know, it's a scatter. I heard it's a scatter to to mostly in Europe and the northern part of Israel uh, to to the um, other part in Western Europe. So um, I never heard any um, except for the Ethiopians. Or maybe in East Africans, I don't see any trace of a tribe of Dan in any other part. I think also in, in, in the Sinai, no, no, not Sinai, Sinim, which is in China. Uh, I heard from this book, but this, this book is called The Historical Research of the Ten Tribes scattered into the nations part 11 and the silence silent witnesses signs and emblems this title by professor Walter lee emberg so i'm going to continue to reading through this uh material to to find out more accurate trace of the rest of the tribe of israel but because of a first chapter I'm reading it and uh, I'm not uh, in interested about trial of Dan, but I have to finish it so you're gonna you're gonna find out about this tribe. So anyway, let's start in Yeshua's name. Part seven. At that time after looting about thirty to forty years, a new tribe conquered the Fabrox ancient Nemedians, which were called the Tuatha de Danan. This Tuatha de Danan tribe also dwelt in Greece and then migrated to the north northwestern part of the Black Sea, it Ukraine, and from here to Denmark and Norway and then to Ireland, the Tuatha de Danan became the sole masters of the country. In time they were dispossessed of the country by another group of Israelites called the Milesian Scot. Thomas More says in the history of Ireland that the Scythians eventually conquered Ireland. In process of time the Tuatha 
the Danan were themselves dispossessed of their way, of their sway, a successive invasion from the coast of Spain having put an end to the Dana, Danaanian dynasty and transferred the scepter into the hands of the Mercian or Scotic race, which through so long series of succeeding age supplied Ireland with the kings. The celebrated colony taught coming directly from Spain was originally, we are told, of Celtic race. The Milesian Scot under Heremon, the son of Gatherus, arrived in the island shortly after the exodus, bringing with them the celebrated Leofail, or pillar stone of Jacob. They lured Ireland for many hundreds of years and eventually settled the northern part of England, calling it Scotland. These Mauritian Scot came from Scythia and say they were originally from Egypt and connected themselves with the rest of the children of Israel. More confirms this. Tracing this chosen race in their migrations to different countries and connecting them by marriage or friendship during their long sojourn in Egypt with most of the heroes of scripture history, our birds conduct them at length by a route not very intelligible to Spain, Ibit, I-V-I-D, Ibit. The Tuatha de Danan were beyond doubt of the tribe of Dan, of Israelitish, Israelitish origin, the new tribe, the Milesian Ma Ma Scot, were no doubt of the loyal tribe of Judah through his son Zerah. I don't think so, but this Scot spoke of a long sojourn in Egypt, no doubt the same as that of Israel from the time of Jacob to Moses over 200 years. A scheme of descent which traces the ancestors of the Irish Tau, a direct series of generations not merely to the first founders of Phoenician art and enterprise, but even to chieftains connected by friendship with the prophet Moses himself. This authority concludes that the Miracian Scot were of the name race as the three colonies in Ireland before them. That is the number one, the Medians, number two, the Fablocks, and number three, the Tuatha de Danan. Notice the Bardic historians themselves who represent the Scotty to have been of Scythian descent and to have from tents derived their distinctive apparition and to confirm still further the origin of the Scot from that quarter. It is added by the bird that they were of the same race with the three colonies that had preceded them, namely the Nemedians, the Tuatha, the Danan, and the Fabrox of Barge. Barge. B E L G A E. Barge. In the ancient annals of Cromac noise, we read the Tuatha de Danan, which confirms the previous sources. Upon them, the Fablocks came in the people called the Tuati de Danan out of Greece too, being a branch of the same stock that Fablocks were of and were kinsmen. During the time of Fablock, which was 37 years, there reigned in Assyria, three monarchs, Tuati the Danan, after they had spent much time abroad in learning necromancy, magic, and other diabolic, 
diabolical art wherein they were exceedingly well skilled and in those days accounted the chief fest chief fest in the world world in that profession landed in the west part of Connaught Fabrox, hearing of the Twati the Danan coming made towards them and meeting them in a great plain called Moitoile in Connaught fought with them where Fabrox was overthrown and one hundred thousand of them slain with the said king Eoki Mac Erke, which was the greatest slaughter that was heard of in Ireland in one meeting comment by the researcher. By the England and the British ISOs were also occupied and became known as the British. In Isaiah 49, a prophecy went out as a message to the scattered nations of the northern kingdom of Israel Listen to me, you island, hear this, you distant nations. Conflict can, distant nations. Hashem say to them, page 38, Hashem say to them, in the time of my favor, I will answer you, and in the day of salvation, I will help you, I will keep you, and will make you to be a covenant for the people to restore the land and to reassign it is desolate inheritance as said before the hebrew word hebrew word for covenant is berith the hebrew for man is ish if we take the hebrew word which means covenant and ang anglicize it. We come up with Brit. The British people, of course, are often called Brits. The term Brit-ish is literally in Hebrew covenant man or man of a covenant. The people are in the islands who compose distant nations their very name once again identities them. The people of Wales called themselves in ancient Welsh Bright E Britain, which means Brit Brits of Britain. This means the covenant covenanters of the land of the covenant. The earliest settlers in the Wales and the Southern England were the Simoni, which are none other than the descendant of the tribe of Simon. Simon. This is something I, I, I heard something new. Con in my opinion, tribe of Simon. Tribe of Simon are the um, uh, uh, a tribe which was dwelt with the. Uh, with the uh, Judah and uh, the territory was Judah and and uh, uh, very closest brother of Levite which was the um, uh, um, became much more identical with Judah so that the possibility is that they they might stay in part of the uh, tribe of Judah in the southern kingdom. Uh, uh, then, then, you know, you know, fled into the north, but uh, I don't think this is correction. Anyway, continue. Conclusion, the tribe of Dan, more than any other of the lost ten tribes of Israel, left their signature wherever they migrated or journeyed. They did so by the unique method of naming rivers, mountains, lakes, villages, towns, bays, and cities after the name of their ancestor Dan. Therefore, tracing the name and the roots and the migration of the Danites in conjunction with the trail of 
megalithic monument gives us the evidence we need to trace the other missing tribes of Israel to their locations in the northwestern Europe and then further into the world. The warlike Danites, sad to say, are still slept in paganism and rebellion exactly as Jacob prophesied. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribe of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way and other in the past that biteth the horse heels so that his rider shall fall backward. The Irish today are infamous for their rejection of the British rule. Oh, Ireland is in uproar against the British leadership in Northern Ireland and the conflict can, strict, st conflict can strike without warning, just like a serpent by the way and other in the past. Okay, this is actually a taken out from the uh, I, I, Ireland is a Catholic system and the, and the British are the Protestant and Catholic versus Protestant but you know in this uh, paragraph we will say just because of a done uh, that is a very funny uh, understanding uh, in the past the outlawed Irish Republican army in it is clandestine war with England has set off bombs in London near the Prime Minister's office and has shown no reluctance to kill or destroy because of this very unfortunate attitude the blinded modern descendants of Dan are wayward and idolatrous and far away from Hashem. Therefore Jacob declared Dan prophetically has to say unlike the other tribes of Israel I have waited for the salvation of Hashem. But in the Olam Haba, Messianic age, the tribe of Dan will fulfill their true purpose and destiny. They will truly abide in ships and settle new colonies and rebuild the waste places. They will once again leap from Bashan and colonize the world. Hashem says of his people Israel, including the tribe of Dan, Though you are ruined and made desolate and your land laid waste, now you will be too small for your people and those who devoured you will be far away. The children born during your bereavement will yet say in your hearing, this place is too small for us. Give us more space to live in. Then you will say in your heart, Who bore me this? I was believed, B E R E A V E D, believed and barren. I was exiled and rejected. Who brought this up? I was left all alone. But these, where have they come from? Then you will know that I am Hashem, whose those those who hope in me will not be disappointed. Amen. The true saga of the tribe of Dan, a serpent, by the way, who left a uh, exciting, captivating trail of waymarks along their path of migration, is one of the proofs of the modern location and identity of the so-called Lost Ten Tribes of Israel. Dan and extraordinary people are powerful people of farmer warriors and sailors left their perman permanent imprint on ancient history. Where, wherever they went, they will also be become a powerful force for good during the reign of Moshiach. So, um, I will, I will read through the next 
next chapter, part eight, will be Did the Phoenicians work for King Solomon's fleet? Okay, so uh, this is it for now, and I will still continue. And <clears throat> Thank you very much.